Hey, y'all. I was doing a read and then it just shut off. So now I got to start all over because I don't have fancy equipment. And I was almost done. So we're just going to get right in here and we're going to make it quick and that'll be a blessing. We got the Hierophant here and he is um, juggling some major decisions. Um, he is... I consider him to be the, um, the the most high, the one who has all authority, and he is here right now um, listening and evaluating both sides of a story. Of what has been happening here, and he is determining. He is determining who um, the sovereign and privileged people are. And who it is that deserves imprisonment. This, the people who um, are facing imprisonment, they're challenged by this visitation. Apparently, there's like a, they believe that this, it could be that they believe that this um, main female here is a reincarnation or a visitor from somewhere else and they feel perhaps that she um tricked them they were trying to be bring adversity they were trying to bring adversity to her ace of wands to her new project, to her new opportunity. Um, this Knight of Swords is uh, stuck in the past and he's rushing forward trying to defend his beliefs. He's got all his documentation, everything that he had ever been taught and he's coming forward and he's trying to defend um, his actions against this King of Cups. Like, why did he bring a tower to this high honor king of cups? Why is he effing around with the high honor individual who's, who's completely balanced and in control of himself? A compassionate person. Why did you bring a tower to this high honor person? So this guy's got all his, all his books, all his stuff, all his stuff that his mom and dad and his grandparents and everybody taught him and he's trying to defend it <clears throat> we've got a queen of swords and a king of pentacles here in the recent past so she's she's uh she's clear cut and dry and knows the truth and this king of pentacles is very disciplined with his money and he's um got this solid foundation right he's a successful leader <clears throat> this um hierophant who is um, from the home front <clears throat> is bringing a sense of poverty to, to a situation. <coughs> There's this karmic wheel here <clears throat> regarding religion and a change that is being made. And I, and I feel that it is this poverty. Poverty is coming to these people. <clears throat> Excuse me. We've got a Knight of Wands here who's coming forward fearlessly and he's behaving in a very unpredictable manner. And we've got the main male who survived something. It could be that this Knight of Wands is the main male or it could be that he's coming up against this main male. Maybe he likes same-sex um, relationships and he wants to come in and be passionate with this main male he wants a relationship with with this person who survived a bunch of stuff the lens that's being looked through is um we've got the two of wands so somebody wants reconciliation there's there's decisions being made somebody wants to leave home or maybe they have to leave home because of a competition And it's this mature woman who has received a message of concern.
in the environment, we have another knight, a knight of cups, who is weary. He's in a um, nine of wands energy. He's in a nine of wands energy. He's been fighting. He's been he's been fighting, and he just wants he just wants some love, man. And he wants to love. He wants to uh, marry into a specific um, lineage. Like he could have his eye on a on a daughter of of somebody within a particular family line, but it looks like he he's trying to escape judication, and she's not expecting him, so he's like targeting her because he's trying to avoid judication. And she doesn't even know that she's being targeted. <clears throat> we have a king of wands here who is um, feeling a little anxiety here with the um, moon card. He's, he's, he's feeling a little anxiety over this nine of cups, over this um, wish come true, because he wasn't able to secure... A marriage with this main female for, or with this female and so he's facing a five of pentacles he didn't get the connection or the union that he thought he was going to get and so now he's facing a five of pentacles and he's concerned and worried he's, he's in fear because of this poverty that he's facing he he wants to be a leader and he wants things and perhaps he is seen as a leader and he has things and he's now experiencing a shift, a change. Um, there's an ace of swords. So the truth is out here in the resulting about this official person and their um, role in driving the mindset behind um certain actions that have been going on here. Because this Knight of Swords, he swears, he's like, I was taught this. This is what I was taught. And so he's like trying to defend himself. He, you know, he was just doing what he was taught. And, and this official person was driving the mindset of these people. Success. This King of Cups is a high honor person who is successful because he knows that there's no greater goal than to love. He's a King of Cups. He's a high honor person. And this Knight of Swords because he was taught, was trying to bring a tower to this king of cups. It's like, why? He's, he's loved. He's, all, he's high honor. Why are you trying to destroy somebody like that? Queen of Swords and King of Pentacles have exposed a truth to the home front about this poverty. Perhaps the poverty experience of people and there's judgment being called on this. There's judgment being called on poverty. Like what's going on here? And there's a, there's a change here for this, this, this religion on this, on this karmic wheel. They, um, some, something's going to happen where they will experience growth, something that expands their consciousness and their awareness. Knight of Wands could be the main male who survived. Doubt. I released the need to know all the answers, but it came out in the reverse. <clears throat> this Knight of Wands thinks he knows all the answers. He has no doubt that what he's doing is correct. He's unpredictable and he's impulsive. He's coming forward with a passionate energy and he's coming forward in the, in the space of this main male who survived some trials. And it's like he, it's almost like he's trying to, like he wants to get a same sex relationship with this main male. And, and, and then this card flipped out and it's because he's afraid he's in fear.
Failure. Mature woman got a message of concern um, about this competition. She wanted to leave home. She wanted to, to make travel plans to reconcile with the home front and she failed. She got a message of concern. Her efforts failed. She was trying to steal it. She wasn't trying to improve her own heart or her own mental status. She was trying to steal it from people who were struggling to survive severe challenges of poverty. <clears throat> Friendship. So this Knight of Cups wants to come in. He, he's... He wants to make, he wants a friendship. He wants to make an offer of friendship. He's weary. He wants to be friends with this. There's a child of a lineage who's coming into an evermore and he wants to be friends with this person it could be that he's trying to get out of judication or it could be that he's not under judication it could be that he's just wary and that he has passed and he's not under judication and it could very well be that he wasn't expecting that and now he wants to offer friendship to um this this um, main female and her evermore. Loneliness. This king of wands is lonely or facing loneliness. A five of pentacles. He didn't get the marriage. Um, he he's afraid because he's losing things. He's a, he's seen as a leader right now and he's he knows that there is a he there's there was a wish come true. He could have had a wish come true had he gained this marriage, but he wasn't able to do it. He didn't get it. So now he's facing loneliness. The truth is out about what this official person was doing, driving the um driving this scenario. He's not able to deny it. He can't deny it. The truth is out. Ace of Swords. The truth is out. He can't deny it. He was in. He was into the imagination of the of the people. Like he got into the minds of the people and programmed them with a certain method of being in the world. So we got the big guy here making a call on who is sovereign and who is an adversary against that sovereignty. There's a sickness here, an illness, a weakness. He's he yeah, he's determining the weak links. Who's weak? Who's strong? Who is able to stand up 
to um, the test of uh, temptation. And who was fragile, who was weak, who succumbed. That's what he's doing right now. He's looking at the minds and the hearts of the people with empathy. As any as any leader would, a wise leader. So this visitation um, by this main female, it has people kind of perplexed maybe. Like maybe they see her as um, somebody who, like a foreigner who came from somewhere else. They might not even see her as human because she survived. <laughs> she survived the adversity that they threw at her. Blessing. She is a blessing. She's receiving a blessing. She brings well-being and enlightenment to the people. The Knight of Swords here, who's trying to defend himself about causing a tower to this high honor, loving King of Cups. It looks like he may be um, facing homelessness. This tower could very well be a backfire for what whatever work it was he was doing. This Queen of Swords, oh. The Queen of Swords and the King of Pentacles have exposed to the home front, poverty and the rituals that were behind it. And there's judgment being cast over this religious facility, over this religion. These religious people, these, this religion, they are arrogant, nuttish, like, like, cuckoo. And they were robbing people. They were robbing people of their divine inheritance. Through ritual. Causing poverty in the world while they got richer and richer and richer. Extra, more extravagant and more extravagant. Oh, holy moly. This fella here, this Knight of Wands, he's, um, he's full of doubt. He's full of fear. Because he knows that it's time for him to be unfreedomed. He's losing his freedom. He's facing confinement because this main male survived. He survived. Had he not survived, I mean, had, had, had many of you succumbed to what had been brought against you, this may not have come to light. But because you're so damn resilient and you got the spark of the most high flowing within you, energizing your freaking mind, you survived. And you, not only that, but you held yourself together. Man. You didn't go psycho on anybody. You didn't become like those who were attacking you. You, you kept, you held your honor, your sense of honor. Yeah, it hurt like hell. Yeah, you may have felt hopeless. You may still. It's not over yet. It's not over yet, but you know what? You um you 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 wrote you persevered. 
you persevered through all of these relationships that were not faithful. It, and it could, it may not just been romantic relationships. It could have been like any kind of partnership, any kind of agreement, any kind of contract, any kind of anything may have gone really bad and sour on you, but you persevered through that challenge and they failed to steal your path. You may not even have known that somebody was competing for your destiny. You may have just wondered why life sucked so bad. Yeah, this Knight of Cups is stressed out because justice is being served. He's trying to get out of adjudication. He wants to come up and, and be part of this, this evermore, this relationship, this marriage that's coming together. He wants to make friends because he's facing judgment for everything that he did against this union. King of Wands, yeah, didn't get the marriage. He's, he's trying to come up with a strategy. Um, the truth is out. This official person has been driving the mindset of the people. He can't even deny it. He doesn't have any alliances. Nobody's backing him up. He doesn't have any defenses. He's in a nightmare. So I was just thinking in my, in my mind, I was just thinking, be prepared. Right. And then I'm laughing. I'm like, okay, well, I guess, because I, you know, even though <clears throat> all this is out here in the cards, I still don't really know <laughs> what to expect. I mean, you got an idea of what's kind of happening, but you know, anyhow, we'll do one more pass with these particular cards here. Somebody's real sick over this, over this um, very high status person making decisions here. These sovereign and privileged people are protected from negative forces beyond their control. But those who had been coming against them are, are facing imprisonment and they're ill. They're getting sick because they were bringing adversity against this main female, trying to um, steal her blessings. <clears throat> they might be challenged because they, they may be going on a long journey, either physical or mental, which will leave them wiser in the end. And this, this could be a mental imprisonment that this um, person is facing, these people who came against this, the sovereign privileged people. This um, main female. Wedge, someone was trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. Someone was trying to drive a wedge between the main female and, um, and the home base, the home front the higher ups, the ones who actually make decisions. They wanted to make her disappear. <clears throat> they, 
they did rituals to cause poverty for her and they're under judgment for that they stripped her of everything and sent her a bunch of adversity <clears throat> excuse me uh, love and deep affection and caring are here like she could be loved by the the home front these um these people who were bringing poverty and through rituals these religious people who are bringing poverty through rituals um religious rit uh, rituals not just um i guess these kind of rituals um they're under judgment and they're greedy little pigs they wanted the wealth the spiritual inheritance, the vitality, the essence of. And this, this could have been a very um, major challenge to overcome. Or it could, and they could be very well expecting a major challenge that they will have to overcome. They were very um, stubborn really insane they, um, about robbing the wealth of innocence. Robbing the wealth of those who had um, passed their lessons, passed their tests and earned their blessings. And these ones were coming in and they were forcing tests on people according to my perception. And then they would pass these tests and then they would off them, like get rid of the bile form and then they would absorb the blessings. And that's how the, I, my perception is, this is how so many wealthy people became wealthy. I don't know anything. I'm just, I'm just a person who has perception and intuition. And nobody has to believe anything that I intuit. This is for entertainment purposes only. I mean, we're all allowed to think and perceive and to investigate, right? And to feel into and find out. We don't have to just say, oh, you say it's that way. Oh, okay, whatever. And then never investigate. Like I learned that a long time ago. I used to have people try to make me be enemies with somebody because they didn't particularly care for them. And I was like, wait a minute, they didn't do anything to me. They've been very nice to me. So it's just weird, the games people play with people. There's going to be an announcement made. This announcement is going to expand consciousness and awareness. There's some people facing confinement, and they're in fear about it. This main male, he survived. He survived what they did to him. And they're going to be in a financial pinch. And they're waiting. They're waiting for the news. They're just waiting for the news. They want to come forward. And, and it looks to me like this um, night of, uh, what does that say? This night of wands. He may, he may be interested in the, in the same sex because he's coming forward passionately. And, and in regard this um, main male who survived. So I don't know if he wants to like fight or if he wants to like be charming and make friends, like become best buddies. I don't know, but he's afraid and he's, it's not, it's not looking good. This, this um, mature woman was in competition here with this main female. This main female is a star. She was in competition with a star for her divine blessings. They brought nothing but adversity to her. And she could very well be like a seated um, reincarnation, like, you know, that nobody really knew about. I don't know. Obviously, um, from all the buzz going around, she's special. But this mature woman failed, um, and she's getting the message of concern. These third-party situations, these enemies, um, um, this star was able to persevere through all of the enemies that were sent to attack her.
good advice from a wise person. Knight of Cups needs to take good advice from a wise person. They're stressed out. Justice is being served. They want to be friends with this main female and her partner. And it could be um, he's hoping for good news or maybe he'll receive good news. There's a marriage here. Yeah, marriage. And you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift, diamonds. So this king of wands knows that there's a marriage that's going to occur here. He tried to get into it here, but it came out in reverse, and he's lonely. He didn't get it. He's facing a nine of cups, so he knows this. He's spying, and he's strategizing on how to get in with this woman because he wants a leadership position where he can have things. He's very materialistic, and he's a wand, so he's fire. He's about, you know, he's just about stuff and, you know, being seen a certain way. And the clout and the attention that comes with that. So it could be that he's behaving like a bull. He doesn't want to back down. He wants to show strength and fortitude. He, he could be behaving stupidly. He might be a secret admirer. Strategizing on how to come out, out, out of this with... A strong emotion, passionate love or hate. I think this person really hates the fact that you are you are um, coming into a marriage, and it's and it's very passionate, very strong e emotion, and he wasn't able to um, sabotage it. He wasn't able to step into it. Or he won't be able to. The truth is out about this official person driving the mentality of the youth. He's he's um, he can't deny it. He turned them against this main female. He they he he and this main male. He flipped the minds of the youth intentionally teaching them not to be the alliance of these two people. They intentionally trained them to hate them, these official people. There's disappointment in a friend or a lover. Pay attention to your work. He wasn't paying attention to his work. It came out in the reverse. There's money and property through an inheritance or a windfall, and they were coming after it. They were coming after it. Someone new may be entering your life. On the bottom of this deck, we have barrel. You feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. This um, official person is um, going to lose stuff. The finger is being pointed at him. He can't deny it. The truth is here. Everybody can see it. And they're in a nightmare. They're in a nightmare. They were in the head and they were they were messing with the minds of the of the youth, teaching them to be a specific way. Teaching them to um to be a certain way about peace, like accept peace. Like they wanted to change the way peace and patience were. Because um these people, they didn't know they were they were um, separated from their intuition and they were in an indecision and they wanted to blame the main female and the main male. Because they have to surrender. 
based on honesty. It's weird, man. They're in grief. They're in grief because these people who are in service to the world are seen and recognized and coming into a, a prominent role. This is weird. And, the, and, and uh, there's unexpected income here. There's a wealthy man who's been working um, maybe against these people, and he's in despair and, and facing bad health. I probably already read this, and I'm not going to do it again. Oh, my God. I'm just tied up in this, and I'm going to shut it off now. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one.